hey everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are finally going to create an amazing project using pi visual so what we will do is we will create a password protection app which you can use with any of your existing projects as well and we will make a modern ui design so let's get started So first of all, we are going to go ahead and design this. So we'll go to Pi Visual and we are going to open up a new project. So here we will name this password protection, let's say, and we are going to update so that we can save it. Now, first of all, we need two pages, one for the password protection and then the page that will open up once the password is correct. So in page number zero, for example, we are going to add all the UI related to our password. So the first thing I like to add is a circle. So here we are going to make this, let's say 250 by 250. And we are going to center it like that. Okay. And then we are going to change the color of this to something light grayish. Okay, so it's kind of a background, so we don't want it to be very subtle, uh, very prominent. Okay, then uh, we need some UI and we need some graphics as well. So let's go to graphics first. And I'm thinking we need um, a shield, S-H-I-E-L-D. So we can add a shield. Let's go to icons. I prefer mostly icons because we can change the colors of the icons. That's why I prefer those. So we can use this, for example, uh, and we can place it here, or we can use a tick separate. Uh, let's use this, and then we can have a tick in between that uh, separately, uh, so that we can have them in different colors, or we can add a lock. Uh, we can search for lock and uh, something like this. Uh, we can have it in between so there you go something like that and then we can make the color of this a little bit lighter and that's pretty much it okay that looks better and then we can have uh, let's say a little bit of clouds cloud and there you go we have the clouds can have a bigger cloud here and then we will have smaller clouds somewhere here there you go and we will also change the color of these so let's change that to this gray and we will also change this color to gray as well so yeah kind of in the background a little bit light uh, okay now we can have our input so here we can search for some inputs so we need something for password so we can write here password and there we have our password uh, different styles so let's select this and we are going to i think this is a little bit uh, a little bit taller than what we need or let's make it 34 yeah and then we will expand it in the width make it a little bit bigger and we are going to center it and then um, I think the yellow color is not good so we can make it uh, white and then let's shift this lock on the other side so I'll go to icons and then here okay there is a error here but Anyways, it shows up now. <laughs> so uh, we have the lock here and then it says password. And then we also need uh, a button to submit. So we can write here or we can use this to submit. Uh, the height of this was 34. So we will use that again. And the width, let's say is 100. So we can place it directly here. But the font size is too big. So let's make it like 10. What is the font side of this? It's 10 as well. Okay, so I think that is good. Or uh, we can make this blue. 
uh, or, or let's make the border blue because that will go with the theme because we are focused on the design, right? So we need to make sure it's a good design. And we can also change the text color of this uh, to the same blue as well. And why not change the icon then? <laughs> Let's do that too. So we'll go to icon and in the icon color, we are going to change it to blue as well, right? It, it will follow the complete thing, theme. Um, okay, apart from that, uh, we can add a text which will be for, for output. Uh, you can say it's like the info text and we can display some stuff on it so let's make it a little bit longer and we will center it and here we can write uh, this app is password protected so we need to make sure it is visible and let's make it eight and let's change the opacity of this to a little bit lighter let's say 80 percent so yeah but here it feels a little bit empty because this icon is too small so let's make it a little bit bigger and let's make this a little bit bigger as well and we can also we can also add um, a solid shield behind this that will look good let's go to graphics and we will write shield and something like this we can add at the back like that and we can change the color of this to blue will that look good let's test that i think it looks good uh we just need to make it go back 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 forward and there you go and uh, we can push it a little bit on the side so this is an issue we have uh we need a tree so that we can move stuff easily uh, or we will have it soon enough don't worry so let's enter that and then uh, here this let's make it white I think now it looks more modern let's make it centered there you go so I think this is good enough um, now, uh, we didn't save it for a while, so make sure you save it. Uh, otherwise, we can lose a lot of things. <laughs> okay, so now that this is done, this is page one, and let's add something in page one, right? Uh, let's say welcome. What do we find in welcome? So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> let's try to find a vector for welcome. There you go. So, there you go so we will add here welcome there you go uh, so that's pretty much the idea you can add anything you want here right now this design is not good but still you know it's something that shows us okay we are in the correct page okay so now that's done what we will do is we will move on to our coding part so let's go ahead and do that so before we code we need to make sure that we name our uh, components properly so this is the input in which we will get the values so here we will write here input underscore password okay so this is the name of this and then this is the submit button so uh, button underscore submit uh, and what else this we can call this uh, text underscore info because we will display some info on it. For example, if the password is incorrect, we will display incorrect password. Um, and yeah, the, the other stuff is static, so we don't need to name rename them. So we will update this. And secondly, we need to link to our project so we can see the update. So we will go to our uh, IDE and we are going to create a new directory and we are going to call it password, password pro, protection and we will copy the path for this the absolute path and we will link it using our autosync so we will select that select the folder allow and autosync is enabled once it's enabled you can simply update it and it will update the projects in your directory so if we go back now we can see we have all the files so if i double click this uh, something is wrong uh, app.py didn't show up let's rerun it 
if there was an issue let's see what happens and there you go so there was some error anyways uh let's run this and see if we are getting something useful or not there you go <laughs> perfect so uh that's a success by itself that we are able to get this but here as you can see the password uh is visible and we don't want that so what we will do is we will go back and we will click on this and instead of text we will make it password so we will update this project and we will run it and if we type in now now it's a password now i will give you this as a uh, as a homework or as a testing project that you add an icon here and when you click on that it should be an eye icon when you click on that it will display it will toggle between show or not show the text right so do that try try to do that okay uh, now that we have the password we need to add the logic so for the logic what we will do is here we know that we will always start with attach events so here we will say that ui and we are going to give in uh, page underscore zero and we know that we need to start with the click of a button so that button is button underscore submit so we will say that on underscore click we are going to call in a function and that function will be uh, validate underscore password right you can name it anything you want but this is what I have named it and then we are going to create this function validate password and then we will pass in the instance and we will uh, write here pass for now okay but we need the complete ui in here so we can apply the logic properly for that we are going to import so we will write from um what was the name function tools uh, import partial and we will write here partial and then we are simply going to send in our UI equals UI. That's pretty much it. And here we are going to write UI. So now we have the access to UI in our validate password so we can use it. So what we will do is we will write our correct password, correct underscore password equals, let's say, uh, go inside, right? <laughs> the weirdest password ever, but there you go go inside that's our password now what we will do is we will check what is the password uh, when somebody clicks on the submit button we are going to validate so we need to get the password first so user underscore password equals uh, we know that this is how we get our stuff right so what we can do is we can copy this we can paste it in page zero we have uh, input underscore password dot text right so that will give us the text whatever the user has written so then we can simply write if uh, the correct password uh, equals the user password then we will simply print or or let's just write the complete project so we will say uh, we will get the text we will say that the text of our text underscore info dot text equals correct password password correct password or otherwise else we are going to say that it is wrong password so hopefully something will happen <laughs> so let's type in and submit and it says wrong password and if we say go inside uh, it should say correct password boom but now we need to move to our next page instead of saying correct password so instead of saying that what we will do is we will write ui uh, now we have done this in our previous chapter so i hope you already know that so we will write here pages and dot set underscore current underscore page equals one boom that's it so if we run that now and we write go inside and we submit voila welcome so 
Well, that's pretty much it, right? So that's how simple it is to create this. And uh, I, I, I think if you do it yourself, it will take you much less time. And look at the design. I mean, that's quite modern, right? Uh, at least that uh, looks modern to me. So, and here you can add animations and other stuff, but we will look into that. Again, step by step, we are going to do lots of stuff. So stay tuned and let me try it one more time so we can write here something and submit and it says wrong password and we say go inside and we write and there you go. Now, before we leave, one more thing, you can find this project in the PV store as well. So if you go back to PyVisual, here you can see we have the PV store icon or if you go to start here you can browse in the pv store as well so if you click on that you can see here we have this password protection app you can click on it and you can click on download and this will add it to your projects and it will take you there and here you can see this is the new one if we click on that this is the exact same project that you will get and then uh, you can simply uh, first of all save it uh, we can rename it as well and then if we link it let's say this is our password protection and if I create a new folder and I write uh, where is a new folder I write password protection 2 and then I select that folder now if I download this it will download with the logic because if you go to the code you can see the code that we wrote is already present over here so if I simply update the UI and if I go back here is our password protection too if I click on that and I run this it will run the complete project without any issues so if I run this there you go and as you can see it's the same project and if I write go inside and there you go that works so this way you can password protect any of your apps and of course in the long run you can connect it to a database and you can retrieve the password from there confirm it from back end and so forth and you can do that stuff but this is very simple and straightforward so this is it for today i hope you have learned something new and you will keep following for more tips and tricks with our ui platform we are going to create lots of modern applications with data visualization plots graphs real-time applications of uh, different webcams opencv and lots of different things so stay tuned and i will see you in the next one